Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate how to remove an oil seal with a couple specialty tools. And th this is a place that most people take a screwdriver like this and they just wanna pry this out. And, and guys, believe me, that seal will pop out of there. That is a total possibility. The problem is, let's use some x-ray vision here. Do you see that, how we have the two points of the screwdriver? Yep. And then you see the gap in there? Yep. What happens is, is most time people go too far and then as they're digging it out, they scrape two lines across that body, damaging the case. Yeah. Now, you could put it back in, put a little sealing on there, the thing will do its job because the sealing we're mostly worried about is the, the ID seal, right? I mean, we're worried about the seal all the way around, but my point is, is why don't we go ahead and learn how to remove and replace seals and not have any damage? Sound like a good idea? Yeah. So probably one of your favorite tools out there is this guy here. This is called a, a seal puller. Um, this one here, brand-wise, I'm not sure if it's an actual Lyle. You guys are real familiar with those, those tools we talk a lot about. And do you see here how there's two sides here where one is a little more, you know, a little steeper and one's a little bit less aggressive? Uh -huh. Whichever one, they're both going to work. But here, what I want you guys to focus on, so let's get in and look at this point. We've got that same issue, but it's really, really sharp. Do you think this thing digs in pretty good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing digs in quite a bit. So I'm not a, uh, I'm a huge fan of this tool, but what I want to make sure and do, I don't want to damage over here. Does that make sense? Yeah. And the same thing with the screwdriver. If I'm going here, now I'm going to tell you, in this situation, the screwdriver would be way easier to use. But I want you to think about a couple of different things we could do. We could take and either apply some wood. We could take and cut up a, sh a strip of wood like this and then be able to work against the piece of wood. Chris, can you hold the case down over there? I could go this way so that I'm not pressing against the aluminum of the case. Does that make sense? Yeah. So maybe it's a deal. You're going to cut yourself some strips or have something like that. And then another thing you could simply do that would be all right is just to go ahead and stack up a bunch of rags here like this. And this is where we could use our seal puller. I do not want to be so deep that I'm gonna scratch. So what I wanna try and encourage you all to do is that when you use this tool, just, I'm gonna ruin the seal no matter what, just stick it in and right now, I'm, I'm not deep enough. Do you see how I'm only coming across the lip with the spring? Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna move it in a little bit. And what I'm trying to do is get behind up into the metal part, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out. Okay, so you can see here, that I was able to get that seal out Look in here, there's no damage. I did not sit and scrape this across this body here, causing any damage. On a two-stroke motor, not only are we sealing the uh, oil in and dirt out, but we're also sealing the crankcase. Remember that? On a two-stroke, how it's a pressurized crankcase? So would you really believe that some skill needs to be uh, used here? Yeah. yeah, we don't want to damage that. Let me show you one more cool tool that Lyle's come out with that I'm, I'm really a big fan of. Notice. Notice the shape of this. Check this out. I might be in a situation where maybe I, maybe I want the handle here. Maybe I want the handle here. Do you get what I'm saying? It gives me all kinds of opportunity. Maybe what the deal is, is that I need to put some extensions on it to get my tool to clear, to clear something. Maybe there's something blocking me here. Does that make sense? So that I could go ahead and use that tool. This is pretty slick that uh, Lyle came out with to really get into some uh, closed applications. I'm hearing that I think guys use this a lot on, uh, or I should say technicians use this on doing like main seals in a car where you're really blocked by like a transmission case and you have very limited work to room. This allows lots of flexibility. This big old stationary handle does not allow me to choose what angle to put it at, okay? So uh, I think this was like 13 bucks or something, really uh, inexpensive. The other thing I could do too is just, uh, you know, put a ratchet right on it and then get that perfect angle and, uh, and make it work. So that's a, that's a cool tool.